With the pacing of this show and the fact that we're already here going against Joe Zenji, Joe Zenji I'm just so excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. Haikyuu, Season 2, Episode 15. This one's called Place to Play. Man, we're already at the qualifiers again. We already get, we already did the preliminary, like the pre-qualifiers. Now we're there, and we're going against a, a, a team who is very cocky. They're the party team, and they've made it to semis last time. I don't know who beat them, but I know they seem very skilled, and they have the confidence to also back it up. We'll see. Uh, very excited for this. I'm going to throw out the typical plugs. Remember, guys, if you guys want full-length early access to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon. Always down there in the description available for you guys. If you guys want to support and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a, a, a nice comment and a like, I really appreciate it, and it really helps push me out into the algorithm, helps a lot of more people see my face. And if you guys could follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Q Season 2, Episode 15. Ooh. Okay, Sugashima. Uh, big brother got him some new sports glasses. Good, good. Alright, good. That's a good big bro right there. Aki Teru, my boy. Right? <laughs> Right, first match, guys. You don't even know how ready I am. Simplicity and fortitude. I like that that that, that uh, saying. Hell yeah! Got us an old fight. Everyone's watching. Even the neighborhood association again. Good to see you. Ooh, Aussie with his first serve. Beautiful. What? What? Yeah, you jump 180. Hit. Wow. Yeah, normally you just return that, send it over nice and easy over. He, that was something else. Oh my god, what are these? What is this, Nishinoya? That was an amazing save. Oh my lord. I see. Unpredictability. In a sports environment, that is very hard to deal with. That was also very unpredictable. <laughs> ah, she's the only third year. I'm guessing she's their manager. So they're all second and first years. Interesting. You don't know he. Oh, good. Ooh, I was about to say, you don't know Hinata. Good shit. Oh, spider definitely is. Okay, you springy bastard. And then you got Nishinoya, just as fucking amazing. Way to turn that around, guys. That was definitely surprising. Wait till you guys see our new arsenal. Relax there. Yeah, so as long as they can get it up in the air, that's when they can master it. Wow. That was super good. A new Majiri. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Not even a big deal. Two on two games. Interesting. That makes a lot of sense. That's why, as a big team, they're a little unrefined. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That's like Nishinoya. Nishinoya is trying to do some shit where he can switch it up whenever. You know, he's trying to do tosses where Asugawa is trying to hit tosses. The fact that they're able to do that is crazy. Wow. 
They do seem like they're enjoying themselves. Also kind of reminds me like Bokuto a little bit, you know? Ooh, good touch. Not to mention that fucking attack. Ooh! Kageyama's fucking beastly too. That's my boy right there. Ooh. Good block, Kagayama. He hit him in the face. Oh. <laughs> hey. Akiteru said block it with whatever you need, you know? <laughs> Yeah, there's a, a vast amount of respect for each other right there. <laughs> what, does Aone never t speak? Ooh, the combos. The Sugawara version. Ooh, bow, boo, ooh, boo. Nice, that was beautiful. I couldn't even tell where it was going. They got me. Kakeura. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna try it out themselves impromptu and it's gonna work out right now. Yup. That's insane, bro. Oh, that's what happens when you try something out for the first time, though. So, I, I was gonna be much more shocked if they got that. I'm actually not that shocked that it didn't work. Yeah, especially because, yeah, they did immense training to be able to get that down. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> exactly. I could agree with that. Anabara. Okay, he wanted them to specifically do that. <laughs> hey man, whatever it takes to have fun, I guess. <laughs> They're still going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Daichi is the exact opposite of them. He's definitely simple in fortitude, whereas they're free and wild, you know? Good save. Oh, Daichi. So clutch. He's shown his reflexes. He's shown his reflexes are insane, though, before. I love how he, he changed the screen to white when he went over like that. That was so cool. That's just how much he knows you guys. That's your captain for you right there. Hell yeah, he really is the definition of a solid foundation. Uh, we haven't had any fucking... Ah, oh, is he picturing the third year uh, that, was, that he was talking to? That foundation that you need? I do love some Daichi time. We haven't had any Daichi time in a long time. I love when Liberos can call that. Like it's like a, it's like a baseball. It's it's very good if you can tell if it's gonna be a ball or a strike. You know, it's that one second of intuition. Ooh, good save. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't have a yachi for her so as the other 30 years left she stayed i love the backstory and the 
deep dive we get into all the other teams. We've done this for like six teams so far. I love it every time. Her name is Misaki. She's like, you guys are kind of putting up a front. Like, come on. You talk your shit, girl. Okudake. Yeah, shouts out Okudake. <laughs> he was excited. Shouts out to the title. Alright, so we're up a set, but talk about fired up that these guys are. Alright, alright, we're in there, we're in there. Well, that was a good episode. I think Joe Zenji's an interesting team. Um, I like their play style in terms of just wanting to have fun, doing whatever on a whim, you know, to a certain extent, but their natural talent, you know, when they're winning, they could keep up that momentum and win, but when they would start to lose and get dis... dis uh, get frustrated then it would start to crumble they would start to revert and do all sorts of mistakes and stuff like that so like a lot of their core offensiveness and their core attacks are really good just because they've constantly been doing two on twos you know so it makes a lot of sense with that but it's just a lot of their stuff needs refinement like like a lot of other teams and stuff like that so i'm just i like their team dynamic though like the way their actual personalities intermingle i like that a lot um i got a lot of names that episode i won't lie i got um, Terushima, who is the main, I think he's their ace, if I assume correctly, on Jozenji. I got Numajiri, who is, I believe, Jozenji's setter. I got Narita, who is another player. I don't know what position he plays for. Probably Wing Spiker, probably backup, um, or Wing Spiker. It's called, is it called Opposite? Because I know there's names in Jap Japan or what they call it in the show, then there's names in America. You guys, like I said, gave me a lot of the, you know, a lot of tips. So thank you guys so much. But um, so he probably plays, he's either backup for Tanaka on the right side or Daichi on the right side, or he's backup for Tanaka and Asi on the left side. So, which is cool. Well, you know, he partnered up with Sugawara a lot during practice. So it makes a lot of sense. We have Anabara, who's the coach for J Joe Zenji. And then we have Misaki who I really like her, another third year coach or another third year manager, didn't have a Yachi to replace her, so she stuck around, kind of just let them do whatever, but really needed to give them a scolding too at the end there, which I, I agree with fully. So overall, fantastic episode. I am excited to hop into this next one. Hopefully you guys are as well. I'm starving. I gotta go eat some food. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Thank you guys so much.